Hey everyone, today's video is going to be talking about products that I've been using and loving a lot lately, so keep watching. Okay, um, so first I'm going to admit that I've been stumped of late as to um, what to do for videos for you guys. I really haven't been into that much fashion lately and products, I've just been using a lot of the things that I've already spoke about. So, um, when it came to doing a new video, I couldn't think of anything what to do. So, um, I thought about doing a tag, which I might do later, but I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, let's go into the products that I've been loving a lot, and I actually have been using quite a lot. And it'll probably be no surprise when I talk about a mascara. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video where I um, get all the mascaras that I've used, repurchase them and review them to see where why I decided not to go there again or why I decided to and get give you guys an insight maybe but anyway um the first one is Rimmel's um lash accelerator which we all know Zoe de Chanel does the advert and she looks stunning in it um if if I could look like anyone it would be her I didn't want to get this mascara because I, I obviously I'm still with my L'Oreal my I'm sticking true to it love that mascara so much um and decided, what the hell, let's go ahead and purchase it and see what it's like. And I'm actually really, really glad that I did purchase it. Um, it looks like this, obviously, 7ml bottle. Um, and uh, I have to say, it's really, really good. Um, I tend to be this, this type of purchaser who finds something and then sticks to it for, forever. I tend to not like to go somewhere new if I've find a product that does my job, does the job for me and I, that's it, I can just go into a shop and continuously repurchasing that until they, until they don't do it anymore. Um, but something about this mascara, just, just sort of pick it up, try it um, and I'm really glad I did. It's unlike the L'Oreal, I love the L'Oreal, don't get me wrong, um, but it can get clumpy. I don't know whether it's because it's meant to be volumising your eyes, your eyelashes and stuff, but it can get really clumpy. So, um, and that's one thing I've noticed about this, that it doesn't. Um, and I think it has a lot to do with the applicator um, being very comb-like. Um, it looks like that. And um, it's just in general, just fits along the eyelash perfectly, goes up in the centre which gives you the most volume in the middle of your eye and then when you bring the brush over, the applicator over, you're going to get that same volume along the eyelash. I would definitely recommend this. I think I paid £10, it was either £7.99 or, or £9.99. Um, that was really, really good price. It's a lot. It's about two, three pounds cheaper than um, the L'Oreal and if, if like... Your eye, you've got really good eyelashes anyway, maybe, and you're just looking for length, um, without volume, more of a natural look, definitely get this, um, great for a day, day look, definitely, so I love that, um, and most likely will be repurchasing that a lot, because I found a product that I love again. Let's go on to, um, let's go on to hairspray, um, I recently went to Sheffield with a bunch of my friends because one of my friends got up there for university and it's her birthday and um, I completely forgot about hairspray and I wanted to curl my hair and just really that was just a bad thing for me to forget considering my hair is really thick and one thing that I definitely have to try out a lot of the time is hairspray because I'm looking for a hairspray that gives you a hold that it doesn't look like cardboard, as my mum says, and keeps my my hair in curls basically, because it can just my hair can just fall out at the end of the night, and I've got this horrible head of nest basically. So um, I went into Boots when I got into Sheffield, and completely didn't have any idea like where I was going because it was completely new to me, new territory. Anyway, um. And I got, got to be by, Sh I can't ever say this name, Schwarzkopf, can't say it, anyway, I'll write it in the bar. And um, it's called Glued, and it's it's just called Glued, um, 
four times screaming halt, freeze, fix, and ultimate hold. And it, 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 I, I, I was immediately drawn to it because it was bright, obviously. It's bright, obviously. And um, it's a bit like one of those air horns. Um, so being a student, that was what, you know, with a one-track mind and liking things because they look funny. Um, I just bought it because I thought, wow, I really like the, the packaging. And also it said it was like, the best holes glued and all this and I just thought well right now I just need hairspray um what am I going to say about the product I'm not reviewing this product at all it's not a review it's just what I love about it and what I hate about it um I I liked it it did its purpose it, purpose it held my hair um which is what I, I'm looking for, basically. Hairspray, just to hold my hair in place. But it made it look hard, like cardboard. And that was that's the look I don't want to go for. I don't want to go for something that's going to make me look like my hair is curled and not naturally curly. I want something that's going to, people are going to think, wow, her hair looks really nice. Is that a natural hair? Um, a bit like Lauren Conrad always looks like she doesn't have any hairspray on her hair. So... I'm guessing that I didn't like this product, but I, I've still got a lot of it left and I would still use it until the canister is then finished, but I won't repurchase it. But in saying that, it's not, it's not saying to me this, it's not selling me saying that I'm not going to get cardboard hair. So I can't say don't go out and purchase it because it did do its purpose, kept my, kept my hair in place, but didn't give me the finish that I wanted where it looked like floaty hair. But that's what, I think that's what you get when you just look at uh, the packaging and be like, oh, it looks like a one of the air horns. It's funny. Let's buy it. Now on to, um, to FC UK products. Um, and we're going to start off with the body wash first. I'll do the body wash. But I got this set quite a while ago and I haven't used it. And I just thought, well, I haven't seen a change. I'll... I'll use it. I'm not sure whether you can buy these products um, separately. Maybe you want to get them in the set, which will most likely be in boots at Christmas again, because that's when I got it at Christmas. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're starting off with a body wash. And um, it says it's got extracts of pink grapefruit, grape seed oil, and vitamin E. About this, I have the worst dry skin ever, so I wasn't expecting it to suit my skin anyway. Um, um it says something like it it will melt away on your skin and leave you with soft skin. Now, it doesn't do that. It didn't leave my skin feelings after all. It did have leave a really nice smell, so I suppose you're getting something out of it. Um, I do have to say that. It does look quite ugh, quite horrible in the, the jar. I don't know if you guys can see that. You probably can't. Um, it looks like sick a bit. <sighs> but it does smell really nice. Um, but a bit musty. And uh, you can't use a lot. Great. Um, shouldn't use a lot on your skin. But definitely um, don't think you're going to get soft skin if you've got really, really hot, dry skin. Um, because you won't. I'll just get, have to get rid of this now on my skin. Um, nice. Yeah, moving on. Um, next onto the whipped body cream. Now, um, moisturising he is a big deal for me and I have to do it a lot. So I'm definitely looking for something that will keep my skin soft and mo moisturise, obviously. Um, and smell nice because, you know, that always helps. Um, again, this is extracts of orange blossom and pomegranate, shea butter and sweet almond oil. And it's whipped whip body cream by FC UK. Um, you have to use a lot of it and you don't get a lot in the tin. Um, smells nice. A lot better to look at. Looks a bit like wax that you get from when you go to the hairdressers, the posh wax. Um, really, really good. Really good. Did keep my skin soft after I exfoliated and used that thing that didn't work. Um, but compared to this, it actually does do what it says. Like it will keep you, it will keep you um, 
moisturised and it does fade easily. This says it fades easily, which it does, and works, but it doesn't. This fades easily and does work. So I definitely recommend if you do get a set from FC UK and these are these two products are in them, um, that this one definitely use this one, try it out, use it, try this one out. It might not work. It might work for you. It didn't work for me, but yeah, good products. Now the reason that I made this video is I want to talk about this product. Let's talk about this new product that I've been using, which is you can't even see, which isn't good. Um, it's the sim whatever way. It's the simple spotless skin rapid action spot zapper. I'm not prone to spots, I don't get them, when I do, I, I get one and it's like awful and it'll be there for about a week um, and I'll hate it because I, I'm not prone to acne so when I get them I don't get a lot so it kind of, it's more noticeable when there's just one and you've got like a clear face and then there's just one spot randomly either on your forehead, on your chin, by your mouth, on your nose, wherever, wherever and I hate that, I hate it so much. So, um, I went ahead and got this, and I have to say, it works. Um, it's just something like zap spots in just four hours. Um, it, mine hasn't gone completely, it hasn't been zapped, got ri gotten rid of or anything. It's gone, like, healing now, so, so it will, like, I've, I got it yesterday and it's already healing, so, um, I would definitely recommend this if you have a lot of spots, because it works, and... It's this really like clean, unmessy um, roller ball, which I think is really neat and um, fits the purpose. And Simple Simple always do a lot of really good products for skin. Um, their facial wipes are really good. Um, it says for best results, apply it as soon as you see the outbreak of a spot. And it, it works because it's got antiba it's antibacterial and it's a lot like um, tea tree oil. That's a really good spot um, tip there. Um, so it's just something simple like this and it gets rid of it. And you can't even see the product, but I recommend that. That's my product, products I'm loving this week. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll try and get a new video up as soon as possible.